Hello, welcome to Paper Daisy Journals. It's Kylie. This video is a flip through of a shabby chic junk journal and I have called her Rosaline because she has lots of roses and was inspired by um, some extra things that Gabriella put in an order um, from Penny and Rose Papery and it just blossomed from there <laughs> so I will say this Rosaline um, is the kind of journal that has a lot going on I was in a transition phase of moving into my craft room yay, uh, which involved quite a lot of rearranging of the house um, so there's some experimental things. Rosaline has a little bit of everything. Uh, she sort of matches mostly but not completely and <laughs> I, I actually kind of like um, how she's turned out in that regard. So <laughs> without further ado, let's start the flip through. So the cover, the size is A5 sized and um, with a 5cm or 2 inch spine, there are four signatures. I will come back to the cover in a minute because there are lots of layers. Um, this is the spine, so a little bit of experimental um, button usage. And I think you can see what I mean by um, perfectly imperfect, <laughs> maybe is a way of describing Rosaline. Um, we have the beautiful red roses. This is antique fabric on the spine here and on the cover and inside the journal. Uh, this pocket is also antique fabric. So a pocket stitched on the back. It's a fairly um, large size pocket with some tea stained vintage um, cotton lace and a beautiful little glass vintage button. I'm not sure if you can see the little flowers on there um, but just a beautiful detail. Very time worn fabric from the 1800s so very very old. <laughs> um, so there's probably a bit more shabby in Rosaline than maybe chic. Um, but there is sort of a raspberry red and um, dark, darker blue theme throughout. On the cover here, this string is actually um, sewn onto the cover and it does wrap underneath the lining on the inside. Um, so it shouldn't come off. A um, vintage cigarette card and this piece of fabric was from Gabriella and kind of started this whole journal off and that's actually a little pocket as well so I've hand sewn that piece of fabric on to an envelope that I also got from Gabriella. This is some beautiful bobbin lace down the bottom. This is also a tuck spot here at the back of the envelope um, and more of that fabric that I have machine stitched and hand stitched on. <clears throat> One of my favorite, favorite cards. Um, this is vintage and hand painted um, onto a piece of um, plastic. But the colors matched beautifully. There's even a little bit of glitter left stuck on there. It was a Christmas card. There is a little poem um, on the inside there. It will be hard to part with, but as you can see, it just, the colors were perfect for this journal. Um, and creating something is all about letting go, really. Letting go of your inhibitions to initially create and then letting go of your creations. So there's a lot of letting go in making something. Uh, Antique fabric pocket, that's the same fabric I used on the spine with more of that bobbin lace. This is also on an envelope, which 
doesn't open out fully it's a little bit of a secretive um, tuck spot and there's a little playing card in there that I've stitched in as a tuck spot so you can see and this whole part here is also a little bit of a, a tuck spot that flips up and this is Rosaline here um, and that is in a vintage photo holder from France and it's a beautiful raspberry red color um, that is actually blank so you can write on the back of it but you can also replace this as well uh, with a photo of yourself or um, someone that features in your journal a loved one a family photo um, so that's quite versatile there that opens up just very carefully because I have machine stitched that on and it does weaken vintage paper um, so even though Rosaline looks quite robust there's some delicacy there <laughs> um, this is a big pocket here a cross stitched um, pattern with a rose and that was taken from a, ta a beautiful tablecloth some more of that tea stained lace and all of that closes up and is tied with this twine it's a light beige color and for twine fairly soft I have then um, the closure is a beautiful silk ribbon but before I open Rosaline I'm just going to show you all of her beads and glass buttons at the back here there's a beautiful bead with a little rose inside it glass beads these are all glass another button some antique beads as well but my favorite would have to be this little heart-shaped blue button it is glass but there are little flowers around the edge hopefully you can see that whoever purchases Rosaline um, will be able to see <laughs> how beautiful these little details are they don't always come up on um, the video unfortunately I am actually filming in natural light in the daytime now because I'm in my craft room um, so it is a little bit different hopefully more things show up so lots of Rosaline likes a bit of frou-frou there's no holding back with this gal it's all all or nothing <laughs> so we've got double closure um, she's quite heavy as well she's not a light a light woman <laughs> antique fabric um, tag and I just absolutely love that um, pattern and the teal with the raspberry is one of my favorite color combinations in antique fabric that's also antique fabric lining is very time-worn I think it's had multiple lives so if you're not into um, vintage fabric that is time-worn this is probably not the channel for you <laughs> large uh, lace pocket that I've hand stitched in the envelope theme continues in um, Rosaline she does like writing that is a wax seal with a little bird and a letter stuck on there so washi tape just to reinforce it that's part of a gorgeous um, French folded letter with the original stamp and I just love the writing and the paper a modern fabric pocket hand stitched on with that gorgeous um, fabric ruffled there and that is a little red glass button with tiny flowers on it as well this is a French ledger tag it's a printable in my Etsy shop and um, that's one of the original ones that I've collaged there tea stained paper throughout 
This is a little cluster with a real flower and a fussy cut butterfly um, on some old book page, um, exercise book page or school book page I should say. This is a pocket along here, quite delicate with a little cluster. That is a die cut um, image from an Edith Holden book and I have just stuck it on there for an element of interest but you can definitely use the pocket in front. Um, Rosaline, as I said, there's a little bit of everything going on in here but these colours match and I just love these vintage book pages and the story is so cute, Jim and Mary. Um, you, if you are the same age as my mum, you will remember, uh, possibly remember these books in school. <laughs> that is a really sweet beaded dangle. That little red heart is a vintage glass um, bead from France, and that is also a glass bead uh, on a lace ruffle. And the lace is from um, Blue Linen Cottage. I will link. Um, I'll link Gabriella's Instagram account and any shops that I mention um, in the description. That is that blue button and the beads for the signature strings there. I've gone a bit crazy um, this time with all of the beads and buttons because I'm, a, I'm becoming a little bit obsessed with the jingly sound. <laughs> if it's not for you, by all means, you can actually cut them off and just have the signature strings and repurpose these in a craft project so that is an option if you're not into the overload. A little cluster here with some um, raspberry floral fabric, um, a little uh, thing I got from some nylon um, lace and <laughs> used as a gargle I'm guessing is some um, pharmacy ephemera. It is a five hole signature stitch too, so the pages are very secure. A little cluster. This is one of my favourite trims, vintage trims, little teapots on that white, um, well it's sort of a, an ivory um, thread on the blue background, it's just so pretty. So that is a tuck spot there. <coughs> this is an old die cut. And that is on a um, little pocket there. Gorgeous lace pocket. And that's some more antique fabric on a nice big journaling tag. And I just love how you can see um, the fabric tag through the lace pocket. And we're on the other side of that letter and envelope. A beautiful fussy cut butterfly on a lightly tea stained paper doily. A, um, this is from a vintage cross stitch or tapestry magazine I should say. And I have just reinforced that with washi tape. Some beautiful blue ledger. Lace ruffle with Suffolk puff stitched at the bottom. So there's some nice journaling space um, in this little section here. A playing card with a little lace cluster and a string bow. And that is on a um, ledger page I've turned into a tuck spot. This is a glassine envelope that I have embossed with a rose pattern. So you can put something cute or sentimental in there. Beautiful um, vintage wallpaper border as a pocket. And this is an original postage stamp tag, just collaged on and um, lots of fun doing that. I do love postage stamps. Some beautiful Italian paper. The signature strings on this one have that glass button and that's an antique rosary bead. A, that's a real rose just stuck on there, a pressed flower. 
and um, this was just something that I had snipped off this lace pocket and it was sitting on the table and I thought mm, I need something here because I do love the layers and um, so there, there are a few experimental things in this journal and I actually really like how that turned out so that was a happy accident sometimes it doesn't work and I have to start the entire <laughs> double page again a little cluster here sewn onto a pocket with a glass bead and this is a really beautiful delicate calling card from Edna um, Nitros I think and um, a little saying on there it it could come off but it quite easy just to glue back on again another tuck spot from a ledger page with a little cluster there and some more of that beautiful antique fabric from the cover as a pocket and this is an original library card with a fussy cut rose on it and I've just slipped that in there I also um, use a metallic um, paint for the paper clips just to make them a little bit special a tab there with a little rose charm and that's a piece of embroidery from a doily that I have just stuck on there and that's a, um, a German die cut scrap a fussy cut butterfly on some um, baking paper, tea stained baking paper. I just love that cheeky smile. That's from a French um, theatre magazine and it has a beautiful rose. The um, wax seal there also has a rose on it. One of my favourite um, wax seal stamps. And that I just love that everything is just so beautifully the topography or typography um, from France is just outstanding second to none really some more of that book page um, a an envelope hanky and I've just pinned that this time instead of sewing it because I think it just looks better uh, and more finished. So that's a nice big pocket in there. And there's also a pocket at the back as well. So lots of space for holding um, special things. I do have a thing for um, hankies. Look at that little embroidery there. So dainty and sweet. Every time I use one, interestingly, I start looking for more. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, I've used one. I need to replace it with five. <laughs> this is how my brain works. It's terrible. Beautiful onion skin paper with um, uh, fountain pen handwriting. And I just love that you can see through it. And on this side, there is a, an antique postcard, and that is also a tuck spot. <clears throat> Some writing space. Lace ruffle again with one of those uh, beaded dangles. Antique fabric pocket with a little cluster. And this is a um, crinoline girl that is cross stitched from a doily and this is also a printable in my Etsy shop the blue linen cottage principle printable principle it's <laughs> no school here trust me <laughs> signature beads in the middle of this one this is another crinoline girl um, probably one of my favorites and that is also part of the pink printable that I have in my Etsy shop and this is the original um, tag that I've made and scanned for that printable. Beautiful handmade paper from Rose Hill Paper Cottage 
and I will link the Etsy shop for that and that is a real um, flower stuck on there and some um, collaging as well and that onion skin paper another little pocket with a lace cluster and a vintage glass button and this is an original French luggage tag with a Victorian scrap um, stuck on it so that's just popped in that um, tuck spot. I've just uh, folded and stapled that page because I felt there was a lot of um, edges <laughs> and I prefer things to be more rounded um, or torn so I just stapled that and I think it uh, has a nice little effect there. A um, collage here with some French um, document, fussy cut butterfly and a stamp that is beautifully patinaed with age and this is an embossed glassine bag that I have um, sewn in as pockets. This is a gorgeous Belgian telegram. I just love the image of those women. This is the original one in here and when um, you have a look you can just see their feet on the grass. <laughs> This is where I like to do layering. So it, journals might seem haphazard, but often the creator has gone into to great lengths to sort of layer things so little bits peek out. Um, and that's probably one of my favorite layered parts. This is a Stamperia rice paper, and I've just made it into a pocket. There's a pocket at the front, and there's also a pocket there at the back, nice big pocket some handmade paper embossed and a piece of document from 1888 <clears throat> and I just love how the blue picks up there's a little bit of blue in that print another um, beaded charm gorgeous receipt um, from France 1893 you can also journal on the back there some uh, music paper and that is a tuck spot with a little cluster or collage that's a collage not a cluster sorry <laughs> there was going to be a blooper and that's it for this video hopefully a crocheted blossom on there hand stitched on and sews the uh, fabric pocket Uh, this is a piece of ledger or a, a ledger page and I stuck this um, piece of French document because it had a gorgeous signature on it and then I decided to put a pressed rose, that's a little miniature rose and I was looking for a third thing to add to this collage because you typically collage in threes, fives, sevens and nines and I was sort of struggling and then I, I, some of these petals may come off. I do my best to glue them on with a permanent adhesive. And a couple of petals came off and I thought, oh no, it's falling apart already. And then I realized, well, actually they look quite pretty stuck there. So that's another happy accident. It's two happy accidents in this journal. <laughs> A tuck spot there with a little collage, original French um, postage stamp, and this is from that um, document, that magazine, the theatre magazine, uh, further back in the journal. And I just love the rose and the writing. Yvette Gil Gilbert, I think, is the woman um, who is on the front cover. This is the, um, the beads and button for this signature. That is also a tuck spot that goes all the way down.
beautiful piece of vintage fabric with a little bobbin lace ruffle that is um, time worn or stained but it has been laundered that's actually just a permanent stain but I just love that color ties in beautifully with the flowers this is a tuck spot here and it's also a flip so there's writing space underneath so you've got your tuck spot and a flip I thought that was a bit clever. I was a bit chuffed with myself <laughs> coming up. Hundreds, of, hundreds and thousands of journal makers have done it before. It's nothing new. But for me, it was a bit, oh, aren't you clever? <laughs> and I just stitched that on um, at the top there. And I do like how that's actually come over onto the other side of the page because it just adds something um, to that. I have a thing with blank pages not sure why. Um, a tuck spot here with some beautiful vintage bobbin lace and the back of that receipt with the original um, stamp. Lace cluster with a crocheted flower and a glass vintage glass button sewn on there. This is a um, apple wine label that I have just stuck um, in there and 14% alcohol who would have thought the humble apple could ferment to that level of um, alcohol by volume so there you go and that's the other side of that telegram I would like to actually interpret um, some of this vintage ephemera. Apparently there's an app that you can download where you hold it over the um, writing and it ch changes it into English. So I have to look into that. Another collage. I am probably leaning more towards butterflies, I think, um, than anything else. But that is the pocket on that um, glossine bag. And this is the back here. That's that beautiful antique fabric with a big lace pocket. And this is a doily tag from my blue linen cottage printable in my Etsy shops, the original one. And that's just tucked in there. So that is Rosaline. There's lots going on in this um, beautiful journal. And... Um, very experimental but I think we made it in the end I'm quite I'm okay with how <laughs> Rosaline has turned out because I really wanted to do um, you know especially that um, card justice so <laughs> that just ties up quite easily there and yes Thank you for watching if you've watched all the way to the end. I've taken my time today. Sorry if I've put you to sleep <laughs> with my, my uh, slow voice, but I'm just feeling very relaxed. I'm feeling very good being in my craft room. Um, I'm quite pleased with myself <laughs> at this point. And I am going to wish you a uh, fond farewell and hopefully you will watch another one of my videos. Bye.